is the first one. This nasty looking picture can be caused all because you skip out on having a fecal check mm. with your pet. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Dr. Courtney, what's the verdict? Did, did mom know what she was doing when she forwarded this? Not only is that really gross, the verdict is that's true. That's oh. really true. Oh. I mean, that young lady uh, could be experiencing uh, a hookworm infection and something called cutaneous larval migraines. Now, a big long term, that and all that bad. essentially means is you've got little baby hookworms that are burrowing underneath your skin and through your body. They can go anywhere. And so I always say it's so important. Listen, just make sh keep your pet on parasite prevention all year mm -hmm. long. Because it yeah. originally comes from the pet's poop. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And have your veterinarian check your pet, make sure that there's no parasites, and then most importantly, protect your feet and your children's feet mm -hmm. when you're going outside. Because the question becomes, if the answer to any of these questions is yes, you should be protecting your feet. Have you ever seen a stray raccoon or a stray cat mm -hmm. or a stray animal anywhere near your yard? Yeah. You don't know if well, there's any right. sort of parasites, roundworms, or hookworms in the soil. Could you get this, Courtney, from sleeping in the same bed as your pet? No. Most of the time, it's due to infected soil, you didn't clean up properly, or something like that. So that's so, that's we so, so important. I was a stray puppy as a child, and right. I remember it, in, his, in his poop were just these... Spaghetti like oh. worms oh. Oh. around that's, and around. And is that I brought some. Oh, I brought some friends with it, me huh? today. Nice. Uh, Boy, it looks just like that looks like something I put on my salad. Though, right? Yeah, so right. this. <laughs> yeah. So these are round worms. These guys are fascinating. Mm. These guys are fascinating because they can burrow into your body. We call visceral larval migraines, or even in your eye. Are those alive? We call ocular larval migraines. No, these are definitely not alive. Oh, now good. these, Dr. Travis, <laughs> these are tape. These are tapeworms. Oh, you get these yeah, I from I hung, I eating, this yeah. eating fleas. <laughs> eating fleas. So, so we've got so one roundworm here, one roundworm here that I'm oh, touching right there. That's why you're the vet, because yeah. I hope the this thing come out of right. one dog. How fascinating, like, like the, the whole world of parasites, <laughs> learning about them in medical school. That was the best school. class, right? Yeah. Like the fact that your dog eats a flea, right. and the flea has the eggs in them, and then it turns into that yeah, it's in their bodies. But the tapeworms, we don't have to worry about. Tapeworms, you don't have Those to worry about. As, as disgusting as it sounds, if you were to if you were to somehow come in contact with a tapeworm, it's actually really difficult for you to get a tapeworm. Mm. You'd have to eat a flea, or your dog would have to eat a flea. Fleas are essential in the tapeworm life cycle. Mm. Now, nobody wants parasitology class, but most importantly is mm -hmm. this. Clean up after your pet, wash your hands, go outside with your feet protected. That's so important. And get a feet. Because right. I've seen you with check. sandals on. Right. So I see, when I see them with sandals on, I tell them about it all. Basically, the time. take your pet to the vet <laughs> to get that fecal check. Yeah. Every, what, every once a year? Is that what it's supposed to be? At least twice a year. And okay, if you see year. something that looks like spaghetti in their poop, it's not yeah, spaghetti. It's not spaghetti. No. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.